Guys, I'm here with IPT News. Can you tell us what's going on? A scooter? Oh, I was more worried about the scooter, my bad. 
That's not good. Not very good.
guys, I just got an exclusive tip if anyone wants to put me on film and capture my essence. I just got a, from IP2, nobody cares. Well, I guess I'll be the first. All right, guys, we're the first ones here. We know that. These fucking losers fucking missed out, but... About this. Uh, we were just driving home from the farmer's market and I was looking on Facebook and somebody shared a news article about it and so I just read the article and realized it was like our intersection. And so we came home and yeah. Does it work you at all? Are you a little nervous? Where you live? I'm a little worried just because, you know, we know a lot of our neighbors and our dogs were here and everything, but
I mean, we've lived here for a couple years and it's always been really, really safe and I've never felt uncomfortable. This is definitely the first time and it seems like it's not a public, like a public thing. So, I don't know, maybe definitely take more precautions, but this area is typically really normal and it's really safe. And you can't go back into your apartment complex, right? No. No, we tried to drive in through the back and the cop um, stopped us and said come back and in a couple hours there was an incident. Um, do you have any friends that live there, your neighbors that you know about you can contact with them? What do they say? Uh, we actually did see one neighbor who also the same situation. They were just driving home. Um, but she had no idea. Um, we haven't been able to hear anything. Yeah, 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 no, and they, they told me the same thing. I just dialed in. I don't hear anything yet, but...
now know where it is. 96, 17, What is the... Hey, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you. Can you hear me? That's the question. Yeah, mic check. One, two, three, three, two, one. We are. All right. Is your receiver on? Talking. One, two, three, three, two, one. Three, dead. Listen, I don't have a heck of a lot of information to give, but, uh, but there's, I got something, so we'll work with you guys. Uh, yeah, Not just yet, we are waiting on a media briefing that is supposed to happen within the 2 o'clock hour. We're standing by for that, but I want to show you here, uh, there is still a very heavy police presence behind me. We are at, uh, in the 9700 block of Great Rose Trail, that is not where this situation is going on. It's a little further away. Uh, the mayor of Austin here, Steve Adler, just put it out. 
Uh, this is happening at the Arboretum Boats Department, the 9617 Great Hills Trail. Uh, you can also, you can hear it or see it. There is a helicopter circling right now over us. We mentioned again, heavy police presence, heavy ambulance presence as well. Although what we understand is in addition to those three deaths, there are no injuries that have been reported so far in addition to those three that have been reported dead by Austin, Travis County EMS. Um, again, we are in the area of the Arboretum. Uh, this is, again, the 9700 block. If you're trying to get around here and uh, police are urging you not to do that, uh, that is, I uh, want to let you know that 60 is shut down uh, at Spicebook Springs and US 183 in both directions due to this incident. Uh, APP did say earlier, just to sort of give you some clarification as to IP2 what is going on, uh, APD uh, says that th this is a, quote, domestic situation, doesn't appear to, to be a, uh, a general to threat win. to the public, but rather uh, they are erring on the side of caution. There was a reverse 911 call made to residents in the area, urging them to shelter in place. Uh, again, although uh, APD is saying at this point this does appear to be domestic in nature uh, and not a general threat to the public, but they aren't taking any chances. Again, uh, heavy police presence here uh, waiting for anything to possibly happen here. Uh, and we, of course, are going to continue to stand by here. A lot of camera crews out here as well uh, trying to capture what is exactly going on here. Again, as I mentioned, 2 o'clock we are expecting a press briefing from uh, within the two o'clock hour, rather, a press briefing from Austin Police uh, giving us a bit of an update on what is going on out here near the Arboretum in northwest Austin. Again, three people are dead. No other injuries reported at this time. We are waiting that could uh, change the Arboretum. Very active scene here as well. Again, it's more coming and going. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll send it back to you, Austin. So, oh. getting ready to breathe. Not yet. Okay. We're running a little bit behind. Give us 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay. I just wanted to come over here and 30. let you know we didn't forget about you. We still plan to hold something. Um, we're just kind of getting some last minute details so that we can get you all the most recent and updated information. Cool? cool. Okay, so 30 minutes and then we're, we're good to go. So, we'll be back here shortly.
If any of you have a drone that's flying at 600 feet, you need to bring it down. I'm not accusing anybody. I'm saying if you got one, land it right now and we're going to bring it down. So.